Hello people, Rage here, and it's... Damn error! It's been a while since I have done a WoW video. And WoW is one of my favourite games, so, you know, I thought I'd do it. And seen as Patch... Patch? Patch. Patch 4.0.1, 4.0.1, has come out. And I principally play a warrior. There is my warrior. Say hello! And the keen item among you may notice that it is in fact called Rage Reaver. That is because that's where I got the name Rage from. So there you go, you learn something new every day. And why is the ground shaking? Ooh, the cataclysm events. Anyway, what I thought I'd do is go through what I feel is a good level 80 warrior PvP spec arms and a good level 80 DPS spec for arms and also a good level 85 PvP and PvE spec for arms. Can you guess that I play arms? I don't really like the other two specs. Now right now I was trying prop PvP so ignore the bars, they're all messed up and not properly done yet. I will be going to my arms PvP spec in a moment. But first, I thought we'd have a look at PvE level 80. So, you know what? I've got an idea. Instead of just hovering over the talents, let's actually build a tree together and I'll show you what I feel is the way to go. Now I've been playing this warrior for over three years now, so I would like to think myself pretty damn in tune with the warrior and its mechanics and how everything should work. Although I know I will no doubt get people telling me I'm in fact wrong. But let me uh, unlearn my poultry talents and we'll go outside to the dummies and just have a little look at things. And what, what boots am I wear wearing? Okay. That's that's error! Pressing rocket boots is error! Okay. So let's mount up and head round. Probably should have done that before the video, should I? So yes, back to where I was, all ready and waiting. Lots of people testing out stuff. Let's open the trees, which was arms of course. And we will go with what I feel is the best arms PvE spec for level 85. So, we have War Academy. 15% damage on Heroic Strike, Cleave, Victory Rush, and Slam. You'll be using two of those. That is good. Additional Rage to start a fight with. Field Dressing, you could argue that you would do that to give your healers a little less strain. But I like Extra Rage, and the Charge Stun extra stuns would be good for Trash Packs. So I feel that's the way to go. Now, here you've only really got the choice of Deep Wounds. The other three talents are, I feel, mainly orientated around PvP. Now, if I would choose to get Drums of War, because having Pummel on no Rage class means you can interrupt bosses which need interrupting, and you can cast your shouts more freely. So, we go on to the next tier. Sweeping Strikes, that's a given, AoE damage. Now, the buff to that in this patch means that it is all attacks for 10 seconds do hit another target instead of just your first five special attacks, which is a major buff and it is really good for DPS. Now, Taste of Blood, that has not changed, we get that. Impale, more crit damage, good. Improved Hamstring, it's not really worth getting, it has no real use in PvE. Blood Frenzy, Blood Frenzy has changed slightly, your bleeds cause the target to take an extra 4% physical damage and 30% bleed damage. That is correct. But the extra thing is your auto attacks now have a 10% chance to generate 20 additional rage. Which is very, very good for keeping yourself non-rage staffed in a boss fight. Now this move, Deadly Calm. Oh, I'm excited about this move. 10 seconds, you get endless rage. You can just nuke like a crazy person. You know all those poor war arms warriors that don't actually have a cooldown to pop when bloodlust happens? Well, now we do. Very cool. And you will be slamming a lot, so you want improved slam. And now we can slam while moving, which is very good. It is actually really good fun. Lambs to the slaughter, 30% more damage after a mortal strike on your next execute overpower mortal strike. That is a given. Juggernaut you have to take, I'm sure you know what it does. Sudden death has changed, it no longer lets you proc execute, you're back to only being able to execute when they're below 20% health, but it has a chance to reset the cooldown of your Colossal Smash. Now Colossal Smash is the level 81 move, which does damage, and means that all your attacks get 100% armor pen for 6 seconds, which is amazing. So that is worth taking. I mean, I know at this level... Uh, I suppose... Uh, yeah, this is 85 spec, never mind. We get that. Throwdown... Yeah, not... Uh, I mean, I love Throwdown. Don't get me wrong, it's a godsend for arms, but it's not really useful for PvE. So we get Wrecking Crew. Now... We 
have to find one more point. Now, this is just a matter of preference. Some can give the healers a better time. Some can get swapping stances for if they need to go defensive. Or they can get self-healing. Personally, I prefer to get Throwdown because it's a cool move and you never know. There might be one opportunity somewhere in a one obscure raid that is actually useful. And, of course, Bladestorm. Now, in this, you'll be getting Cruelty, 10% crit. You'll be getting Battle Trance, a chance for your moves not to cost Rage. Now, I'm out of points because I'm only level 80 because this is live. But if you were to continue, you would be getting two points in Executioner. So every time you execute, you get more and more haste, which means once the boss gets below 20% health, you can get that stacked up and start hit hitting like a truck. Then I would put two points in Booming Voice and one point in Rude Interruption. Booming Voice being the same that it is, although it does cause your shouts to generate additional rage, because now shouts are cooldowns, which I'll go through later. And... Yeah, I th it's worth having from what you have available. Piercing Hell is not really useful for PvE, and Rude Interruption means that if there's a boss where you have to interrupt regularly, you will do 5% more damage, which of course is really quite good. So, I will learn these talents. Actually, no, I won't learn them yet. This is the 85 PvE arm spec, and for level 80, it it's this. I mean, there's not really much difference. The difference really is in the PvP. So I will learn these talents for PvE. And we'll lay into a target dummy just to see the kind of DPS output that we do get now. Right, let's choose that. And we will charge it. And I'll just go for DPS for a while before I explain anything. And we'll just see what kind of numbers I can put out. It would help if I was to equip my PvE gear. Okay, let's have a look. As you can see, you do get a bit raged out at this level, although you can spike upwards, which is, of course, useful. Now, I'll explain to you Heroic Strike later, but it has become an amazing move. So, just start on the dummy, you get up to about 5.5. I mean, obviously it'll be high in raids, and the rotation is a bit different. You know, having to worry about different rage gem um, management and I'm not popping any cooldowns just a bit of general DPS now a few tips to watch out for with the new changes now of course like normal let me use this one of course like normal you keep rend up that is a given it always has to be on the target you get last tick tick then you move on now the heroic strike change it is now an off the global cooldown extra good strong melee hit if I hit if I hit it there it is 3.5k normal and if we hit it again 8k crit and again 4k crit now that's a bit of a difference isn't it but yeah say I'm DPSing away actually I'm just I'm just slam spamming slam spamming away at any point I could just throw in an, a heroic strike to get a bit, a bit of extra damage for high rage situations you can spike up your DPS a ridiculous amount it really is quite good now that's her egg strike. Another extra PvE functionality that we have gained is this moving while slamming, which means that arms warriors are no longer penalized by bosses that need to get kited round. You can keep running with the boss and doing your normal rotation with slam. Now the only other thing which we can't do at this at this level but it does involve the talent here is that you have to keep a watch for your colossal smash resets because as far as I'm aware this will be a move that you will press pretty much every cooldown with only rend being a higher priority than it because it does make your DPS go through the roof having 100% ARP every now and then that is pretty much it that's changed for DPS it's pretty much the same rotation a few extra moves and a few extra functionali functionalities they've just made arms a lot more effective and kind of probably I say probably that's what they're aiming at our blizzard in their infinite wisdom for us to be able to compete with Fury. Now, I know this guide wasn't completely comprehensive, but it's what I feel will be the f way forward for Arms Warriors. And I'm trying not to get into basic warrior tactics and just elaborate on the changes that have ma been made in this patch and will be 
like they are in Cataclysm. Now we will move on to the PvP side of things. Now don't get me wrong, I'm an avid raider, I love raiding, but PvP it just has such a more exciting feel for me. And yeah, I, I just do, I, I like PvP a lot. So yeah, I will switch to my PvP arms and we will go through the PvP stuff in part two. There is a lot of PvP stuff. So bear with me. I'll see you on the other side.